Hello and welcome back to Persona 5 Royal. I accidentally started it, so we're going right in. Maruki said that your friends are already enjoying it. I should go see them. So yes, we have to go and see our friends and convince them that their perfect reality is in fact not reality. And that, you know, some of their parents are dead. Um, you know, some of them live in uh, broken households. Some of them, their friends tried to kill themselves, you know, that sort of thing. We should convince them that that's where they want to live their life. This isn't going to be an easy sell. But we'll see. Where is everyone? I should look for them while I check out the town. <gasps> but, oh my god, it's the best reality. Hmm? The dog is alive. Isn't it wonderful that Kotaro is feeling better? Yeah, now we can go for walks again. Woof woof. I wasn't sure what was going to happen last year, but now he's like a completely different dog. It's like we're in a dream. Uh-huh. It's like. Huh. Also, I like her outfit. Is this what we wore last winter? Wait, we haven't had a winter yet. Is this what we were wearing before the royal content? I don't know if it was. Anyway, mm -hmm. hello. There is nothing interesting on TV during New Year's. It's just a bunch of idols and comedians fooling around. Speaking of TV, I wonder what happened to those phantom thieves. That's all the people were talking about last year, but then they suddenly stopped. Uh, people in this world forget everything so quickly, even more quickly than ourselves at least. Hello. Hmm, did you want to listen in? We've got lots of listeners sharing their New Year's resolutions today. Let's read one right now. I'm going to go an entire day without my smartphone. I'm afraid that's much easier said than done. How shallow. Back in my day, we didn't have smartphones. The world's better off without them. Ugh. Ugh. Right. Um, also, back in your day, they just invented radio. It was a brand new thing. So, you know, you shouldn't have that either. Right. Uh, what have we got? Hello. This is no time for shopping. I'm curious about what the others are doing. Let's go to a different area. Okay. Or, we go see our favorite doctor. Hmm. Looks like they're closed for New Year's. Oh. Okay. This is no time for shopping. Okay, is this everything in the area then? Because obviously this is where the dog sat, which is up, they're not there. I wonder if Utaba's here. Doesn't seem any different than usual. I'm curious about what the others are doing. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it does look fairly similar to usual. Like, I, I can't deny that. Oh, how about this? This is no time for detours. I'm curious what the others are doing. Yeah, okay, so that's again, there's no time for detours. I'm curious what the others are doing. All right, let's leave. Hmm. Anything along here? Nope. What was the sign? This is Yongen Jaya Station. Okay. Anything along here? No. Nope. Oh, let me on the train. Oh, it worked. Okay. Although we did have to wait for the next one. There we go. Shibuya. This, is Shibuya. this is. Oh, do you see all the um, random people that have smiles on their faces? I noticed that before now. That's kind of neat. Like, you see all these these random folks that are just walking around with the open smiles, just like, ah, we love our job. Hmm. Also, they're already all wearing brown coats. Were they wearing grey coats before? I don't know. Maybe that's all it took to make them happy. Just a little coat change. All right, hello. There's nothing I need to do here. I should check up on everyone. Hello. This is no time for shopping. Okay. Um, well, I'm gonna go this way. Oh, I'm allowed to go this way. Oh, okay. Ooh, hello. Uh, the veteran pickup artist has a fancy hat on there. I see. 
Oh, it's now Charismatic Pickup Artist. My numbers are insane this year, I'm on a roll. It appears I've reached a whole new level with the art of pickups. Same here. This year, I've been able to pick up every girl I talk to. I'm gonna keep up this pace and graduate from the novice rank. Okay, can we go to anywhere else? Nope, this is no time for shopping. You know, I've been told that many times, but is it time for a Big Bang Burger? This is no time for detours. Okay, but, but hear me out, the arcade. Okay, I actually kind of thought Ryuji might be there. Just seeing if there's anything else that's new around here. As in, do any of these things have different stuff on them? Well, as far as I've noticed so far. Oh wait, is that bar? Is that always purple? I don't know if that was always purple. Hmm. In fact, this is different as well, isn't it? Yeah, this wasn't quite as exciting before. Maybe I'm going crazy? Wait, did it not shut down? Hmm. Maybe I'm not remembering things right. Anything up with the gym? No, no, not really. Oh, what about the weapon shop? So obviously Velvet Room's not here. Uh, weapon shop? This is no time for shopping. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if that had the same sign before either. I'm starting to imagine things. This wasn't here before. Yeah, I think everything's slightly... Hmm, maybe this is where I'm going crazy, but I think everything's slightly differently colored. It's got a slightly different design on everything. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, these two aren't here, so those are two businessmen who constantly complain. Bookshop? This is no time for shopping. Of course. How could I be so foolish? Yoshida's not there. Okay. Smoking area is still the smoking area. Anything in there? There's nothing I need to do here. I should check up on everyone. How about this though? This is no time for detours. Um, okay. How about this? Mm -hmm. Everyone, offer your blessings to the sun god for his surge of light has finally reached the earth. Now we live in an ideal world where whatever we wish for becomes reality. Now offer your heart unto the sun and pray. Your wishes shall be realized. Okay, so they kind of know that this isn't quite right, but they believe it's mm -hmm. the sun god. All oh, these two are talking. Mm -hmm. Everyone in the street seems to be in high spirits this year. I've been hearing nothing but good news. Perhaps it's because of everything that happened with Shido last year. Probably, but still, everybody seems excessively happy. Uh, Senpai, please avoid doing your own thing for the first job of the new year, okay? Hmm, okay. Maybe she believes there's something wrong because her cognitive thing would be like, her ideal situation as an aggressive reporter here is to, you know, find out a deep conspiracy about something, you know, get a big story. Hello, you've changed your hair and outfit. It's, it's especially cold this winter. I can't perform well when my fingers are numb. Tokyo is so cold now thanks to this cold snap that it feels like I'm back in my hometown. But even amidst all this hardship, I'm going to become a rock star this year. This one's for you guys. Ignite Studio Bedroom Heaven's Gate. Rows and pupils, watch the stars so bright. Concrete icicles rise up in the night. The chill in the air makes you feel weak. Reach out your hands and seek out the heat. The dancing angels caused a soul ascension. This is a carbon monoxide intoxication. A studio bedroom becomes Heaven's Gate. If you want to live, let your air ventilate. Uh, I don't know if I like the rhymes yet going there. I'm just seeing if any of these things are different. Like any of these um, advertisements. I mean, maybe, but I think that the only one I can see that's different is the uh, skiing one. Or not ski, snowboarding one. But, I mean, that's probably for a good reason. Well, at least this one's still here. Right. Uh, I'm going to deliberately ignore the way I was meant to go because it lets us explore this whole area. Hello. Say, aren't you looking younger? Your skin looks so smooth. What did you do? Was it skin therapy? Lotion? Maybe exercise? I haven't done anything. I suppose the only change is that I got a boyfriend. He's really young and super good looking. We're so lovey-dovey every day. 
Hug, I bet you told him you're younger than you really are. How old is he? Same age as my daughter. I've still got it. Are you serious? Isn't that a problem? Yeah, okay, but if her desire is to grow up with someone the same age as her daughter, that desire is granted. Great, yeah, as somebody randomly in the background said. So what's this? Registry desk? There's nothing I need to do here. Alright, well, I'll leave then. I'm just checking. Hmm. There are no toilets around here still. Okay, good to know. Hello, you two. I'm glad to see you back, Chief. I was actually supposed to leave this place at the end of last year, but there was a sudden change in plans. I'm still not experienced, as experienced as you are. I'm looking forward to learning even more from you. It'll be my pleasure to teach you. I'm glad that we can work together for a bit longer. Can I get on this train? Yeah, okay. Oh, it doesn't let me. Okay. Even though it's not the way we need to go, it'll just let me on the train. Cool. I don't know where this one takes us. Is this one take us... Uh, I completely forgot where this one takes us. Shibuya? Oh, this one takes us to school. Okay, it's Ayomi Itomi. Or whatever he said just then. Uh, ooh, there's Ryuji. Okay. Hello. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You mean you got scouted by that college? Whoa! Pipe down, stupid! Isn't not for sure or nothing yet, yet anyway. I'm just saying the school's gotten word of something like that. Still, that rules. You even made it onto the podium at Nationals, too. I was worried about what would happen to you after you screwed up your knee, but I'm glad you were able to bounce back. No way, man. Oh, you're still jumping the gun with this. I'm just trying my best so that I don't get laughed off the team by you guys. Ryuji is laughing happily with other members of the track team. Seems this is... Uh, seems this reality is the one Ryuji wished for. Hmm? Alpex, what are you doing here? Still winter break. Oh, maybe he stopped by to congratulate you too. Man, someone sure is popular. Is there anywhere you want to go eat after practice? It's our treat today. Oh, that's nice of you guys. How about an extra large beef bowl and some pork miso soup? Hey, why don't you come with us, Alpex? Hmm. Enjoying the return to track? Yeah. Hey, yeah, it's fun, but what do you mean? It's just what I like doing, you know? I get all down when I'm not running. Hmm. So your leg's fine now? Hey! My leg? Oh, you're worried about me. It's totally fine, dude. No problems there since that injury a while back. And that was actually Kamashita's fault, so wait, what? Oh, okay, so he remembered now. So we just have to point out what... Um, isn't right in this reality because it's not like it rewrote everything behind the situation to fix it, right? So it didn't remove the fact that he had a leg problem it didn't remove the fact that he wasn't on the team it just changed certain details about it. But as he remembers it, it's like, oh it was Kamashida. it's always been Kamashida. he just wasn't realising it until now the same with how um, Kasumi didn't realise I guess I shouldn't call her Kasumi anymore but didn't realize something until it was brought up to her directly, even though that was always the case. Okay. Ain't something wrong here? How do we know each other, anyhow? First we met in front of the station by school, then... I'll be waiting for you. Huh? Huh? Sure. It's now or never. Here goes. Ah! Whoa! What the hell was that? You okay, Sakamoto? Yeah, what happened to you guys at the station? Uh, nothing. See ya! Sorry, gotta get back to practice. See ya! Alright. Seems all I can do now is wait. I guess I should head home. Oh, you get one! Okay. Interesting. Ryuji seems sincerely happy about being able to run with his fellow track team. Is this truly how things should be? I should check up on the other members tomorrow. 
Oh, okay. Wonder, are we able to use the fast travel system? Hmm. There has to be someone I haven't checked up on yet. I should go see them. Morgana is here. Maybe he knows where everyone else is. Hey, Morgana. Hey, you hmm. have a minute? Are you looking for someone? Haru, I think she was uh, about setting up a shop in Kichijoji. Uh, she went to inspect a new location with the president. She sure looked happy for doing a bunch of busy work. Hmm. Sorry, but is that all you need? I kind of want to be alone. Okay. The same people here? It seems to be the same people here. We can all fast travel. That's an interesting decision. It's kind of neat, actually. Oh, right. Okay, and you can kind of jump through areas. So you don't get the full open world, at least not yet, but you get like... Or you don't get the full ability to just fast travel everywhere around the open world. But you do get some ability. Okay. Once you go to a place. Hmm. Let's head this way. We haven't been this way and we can see what's up with the uh, guy who assassinates people. Hmm? Oh, he's still here. Hello. Hey, don't you think something's kind of off about this town? Everybody looks so happy all of a sudden. What in the world's going on? It's almost creepy. Okay. Hello. Uh, sorry, could you repeat what you just said? I said we should live in Tokyo together. You like it over there, over there, and I do too. Plus, we share the same values, don't you think it's a good idea? Okay, first off, what's gotten into you? You're speaking and acting differently, I'm so confused right now. Hmm. Okay. So what happens if two people have contradictory desires? I guess they just don't. But, you know what I mean, like, one person, say that rural and uh, city uh, conversation we had there. One person wants to live in the city, one person wants to live out in the countryside. Does it just pick one person and says that person's uh, wishes are correct? And the other one will just fall in line? Maybe. Okay. Uh, can I go to the shops yet? No, this is no time for shopping. But, the shops are different. Like, this shop is different. It's not usually as bright as that. Yeah, I think all the shops are slightly different here. Maybe I'm wrong. They all seem slightly different. What about flower shop? Hello. It's no time for shopping. Yeah. I think they are just ever so slightly different. Hmm, it's also a lot busier here, but that could just be because it's kind of New Year. I guess there could be sales on. I was going to say it's Christmas, but we skipped Christmas. Oh, hello. That's my Koto. Hello. Ah. Ah, Alpax. Uh, what a coincidence. We were just doing a bit of shopping. <laughs> but soon we're going to celebrate our dad receiving the Superintendent General Award. Hmm. That's unbelievable. Come on, Makoto. You don't need to raise your voice over it. Remember Dad telling you earlier to just act like it's no big deal? Sorry, uh, I'm sorry, but I couldn't help it. I'm just so thrilled for him. It's like he's finally getting the recognition that he deserves. You're correct. Well, I do feel the same way. So, what groceries do we need to pick up before we head home? I wonder what Dad would like me to cook. I made em eggplant miso soup for your birthday. You had fried mackerel on yours, right? I can still remember how you pestered Dad about it until he cooked it for you. Hey! Sis! I didn't pester him. He asked me what I wanted to eat for my birthday. The two of them are beaming with joy. It seems that this... It seems this reality is the one that Makoto wished for. Time to ruin it. Hey! Oh, I just had an idea. Alpax, would you join us for dinner tonight? Oh, I guess I don't know what we're having yet, though. Don't you think it's possible he already has plans by now? Look at you, little miss outgoing. Where'd this turnabout come from? Eh? Oh, no, no. That's not what this is. Enjoying the family time? 
Hmm? Well, of course. You and Sai getting along? Yes, she's just as busy, uh, just as well as always. Even when she's busy at work, she always has my back. I couldn't thank her enough for all the... No, but... Wait, something's wrong. Mom died, so Dad raised us alone. And Sis... I'll be waiting for you. Huh? Wait, what are you saying? But I'll be okay. I finally found a place where I belong. Uh. I just... Makoto, what's wrong? Oh, no, I'm sorry, it's nothing. Sorry, Alpax. Uh, we'll have more shopping. I, we have more shopping to do. I'll see you later. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. We'll chat again soon. Well, see ya. So we found Makoto. I'm happy with that one. I'm trying to think. Is there only are there only five of them? You got Yusuke, Makoto, Ryuji, An, and Haru. Yeah, and we've already done Morgana, so that's cool. Okay. The Shrine on New Year's, but I don't have any wishes. Is my dog cute? With a kimono and a hakama? Hey, didn't your dog... Oh, never mind. My New Year's money? I'm going to use it on mommy, of course. I need my teacher to look over my work soon. Makoto seemed happy, being able to spend time with both her father and sister. But is this truly how things should be? I should check up on the other members tomorrow. The thing about this illusion is it seems very easy to break. All you have to do is just like simply talk to them for, you know, a good minute or two and they suddenly fall apart. Hmm. Okay. But maybe other people wouldn't even bring the conversation on topics that could break it apart. If that makes sense. Hmm. Well, best to be someone I haven't checked up on yet. You gonna tell me about uh, Haru again, Morgana, or we got someone else this time? Hello. Hey, you have a minute? Lady Ahn, I saw her shopping over in Shibuya. Someone was with her. Whoever it was, it looked like they were having a good time chatting. Hmm. Okay. Well, we've been to Shibuya. But maybe she's there now, uh, and she's like, maybe it's only one person per day, and we just happen to run into the same one each time. Shibuya. Anyway, I'm trying to think where we were when we. Yeah, okay, so I remember where we were. We we're next to the smoothie machine. So we were. Like. Yeah, so we came down those stairs over there, and that's where we ran. This is where we ran into Sai. So she must be, like, over. Ah, she's through here and then over, maybe? Like, in this... Ah, she's this way. Wait, did we not go into the mall previously? Uh, oh, right, she's there. She definitely was not here yesterday, right? Yeah, she wasn't. We we got this automatically. For real? So it must be different each day, or maybe there's a couple people each day? Anyway. Oh my god, you did it, Shiho. I knew you could. It's all thanks to you supporting me, An. I really appreciate it. Huh, I'm not the one who deserves the credit. You kept up your best effort and now you're finally being recognized. Huh? Alpex, I can't believe it. Over here. Talk about a coincidence. It's been a while since I since the last time uh, you saw Shiho, right? Um Long time no see, uh, uh, Zaplicoon. Do you remember me? Uh how have you been? Yeah. I've been well, thank you for asking. I'm surprised you remembered, though. We didn't even get to talk all that much since I transferred to another school so early into the semester. <laughs> of course he remembers you. He has to remember what with the, uh, the bragging. I've told them all about how amazing my BFF is at volleyball. Oh, Ahn. Sorry you have to put up with all that, Zaplicoon. Shiho was the MVP at the big meet the other day, too. Not only was she in the starting lineup, but she scored more points than anybody else. No wonder she's the star of the team. I'm just so proud of you, Shiho. Jeez. Oh, you're too much. 
The two of them are beaming with joy. This seems... It seems like this reality is the one that Arn wished for. And again, time to ruin them. Oh yeah, forgot to mention, Shiho's coming back to our school. Everyone in the volleyball knows that Shujin's the top school when it comes to the sport. That's how I was able to convince my parents to let me transfer back, after more than a little begging. I was so sad she transferred for her parents' jobs, but all small that ends well. I feel like everything's just perfect. Hmm. Are you happy with Shiho now? Hmm? Huh? What does that mean? Of course I am. Do you prefer things this way? This way? I mean, both you and Shiho are here and everything's going great. It's definitely better than the alternative, like when we... Huh? Wait, huh? But, Something but... is... I remember being so cornered that I just wanted to die and then I met everyone and... Hmm, keep thinking on it. Uh... What is that? Shiho's still alive even after all the things that made her want to die. You have no right to run from this. Huh? I just... Aunt, what's wrong? Are you okay? Uh, uh, I'm, I'm fine. Uh, I think I just... Um, I feel a bit tired. Why don't we go find some place to sit and relax for a bit? Uh, sorry. I'll call you later. Bye. See you soon, Zapplicant. Alright. Well, take another one off the... Uh, list. Let's see who we got next. So it has to be Yusuke or Haru. Haru's in Kichijoji. Don't ask me how you get there by um by train. I don't know. But we'll work it out. Work out of the day off today. I can't be feeling sick when I get a promotion. How do I remember having fancy clothes like this? It's like they're for a night job. Huh? You're not an employee here? Come on. I know you were working here last year. Let's take it easy instead of going crazy trying to hit our quota, huh? You're going to work? I thought you quit. Okay, so given that we know that Haru is in Kichijoji, I think now we want to try and find the way to Shinjuku. I don't know if we can do that by train, but we'll try it. An seems happy to be um, with Shiho, who is able to continue playing volleyball. But is this truly how things should be? The reason I want to go there is because I know that... Because we know that somebody's in Kichijoji. But I want to go and speak to as many people as possible. So if there is someone in, if there isn't someone in Shinjuku, I still want to go there. If that makes sense. Right. Uh, hello. Hey, you have a minute? Yeah. Okay. That's Haru again. Right. See you later. It's just back to Shibuya, non-stop. Okay. So we could try following the uh, instructions on, on the uh, subway line. Let's have a look here. So we head up here. Now I believe I know the way to get to sh uh, to get to Kichijoji. I'm just checking here. Okay. Yeah, I know the way to get to Kichijoji. Shibuya Central Street, Ginza Line, Shibuya Central Street. Uh, is there like a map somewhere? Mine? Fine. What's up with this? English? Conversation classroom? Japanese classroom? I don't really understand that sign. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but that's okay. Doesn't need to. Hmm, is there somewhere that like lists what the lines go? Shibuya? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm aware of that one. Department store. Inagami. I would need to know what the lines are. Does the Inagami line go anywhere? I don't know if it does. We'll try it anyway. Let's go to a different area. Oh, wow. Okay, so what line do I want? I want to be on the green line. Do we know what, the, what is going on with the map? It is messed up. Okay. So we know someone's there. We can't go to Shinjuku. It's locked off. Okay. And Akihabara and then... We know, or old, you know, up there. Wait, is that the, his school? Wait a second, we've never been to his school, right? The Yusuke school. Interesting. 
Uh, so we'd want to be on the green line for that. And the green line is what line? That's the problem, right? I know I want to be on that line. So uh, it's kind of lime green. Let me have a look. We're looking for lime green. Because the lines are color coded, right? So if we just find the main line, we can do it. Uh, I'm just going to head up here and show you where Kichi Joji is. Because also it's in the center, so it will kind of help us find the main line. So I believe that Kichi Joji is this line, maybe? Oh wait, yeah, yeah, I think, no, this is the line I took with Ryuji, so this can't be Kichi Joji, this has to be Shinjuku, actually, never mind. Yeah, I want to, oh, you have to click? Oh, wait, they, okay, never mind, it doesn't, you don't have to find the exact right one, you can just click once you get to the right location. Ah, oh, okay, so we can't go here. I don't have any reason to be there, but I do have a reason to go to Akihabara? Why? Oh no. I was like, why would I never need to go here? Horrible realization, there is somewhere here. <laughs> Got a shiver down my spine. All right. hello. Mm -hmm. Happy New Year! We hope to see you all at Alice's apron this year too, and all that crap. Speaking of which, why are you here uh, already? Don't you have anything better to do? Oof, even at the start of a new year, your tongue is still sharp as ever. Your loving words will serve as my blessing. I hear everybody's found happiness this year. Your happiness, on the other hand, I'll never understand. So he likes being put down by the maids? Well, whatever, you know, floats his boat. Hello. I went and saw a shrine maiden during my first shrine visit of the year. But honestly, I had mixed feelings about it. Yeah, 3D girls just don't cut it. It's all about the 2D. Now that I think about it, there was like no one there. I guess nobody really wanted to come make any wishes. Huh. Well, do all these people son suddenly have perfect lives now? So he decided to make everyone else's life perfect, but these two? Nah, screw these two. Alright, whatever. Hmm? Hello? What's up? What's going on here? Happy new celebration! I was just barely able to avoid filling, uh, filing for bankruptcy. Am I Mega Max lucky or what? But it also made me finally realize that some voids just can't be filled with money. Oh right, your girlfriend left you. It would be, it'd be great if you could patch things up with her, but it doesn't seem likely. Yeah, I know, disappointolution. All right, can we go in here? There's no time for detours. I should go check up on everybody. Alright, well, I don't... I, I kind of thought it was a way out, but there's nothing to do up there. Um, I kind of thought that we could leave there. Yeah, I don't really know what this area was for. I guess it was just some more background stuff. I mean, that's fine. But, yeah, I was expecting something different. Okay, so... Uh, this is an interesting area. I can see Yusuke in the distance. He seems to be viewing a painting. What should I do? Speak to him, of course. Ah, a coincidence. the Sayuri. So he's now got it on display. So this is an art gallery, not his school. Although it did look like his school from further away. Anyway. Ah, you came too, Alpax. I was just thinking about contacting you. Now is that Sayuri correct? Yes, it does have the child. Okay, so I just want to double check that one. Take a look. My mother's painting is finally receiving the public attention that it deserves. Also, that Sayuri is larger than the Sayuri um, before now. So not only is it on display for the world to see, it's a larger version of it, which is interesting. I guess to match his perception of it. It's on display for this week only. I'm so glad we have this chance to view it together. <laughs> I am truly blessed. I've waited so long to see this painting here. My drive to create a masterpiece of this caliber grows stronger every day. But thanks to my sensei's patronage, each day also brings me closer to a painting, to painting such an impactful work. Oh, so it's the real Sayuri 
which is so it's Sayuri, which is his mother Sayuri. However, he still has uh, Madarame as a sensei, so I assume that he doesn't know that Madarame is well. He doesn't say Madarame; it says my sensei. But yeah, I'd assume that that means that um, Madarame is back, and that he doesn't know that Madarame did all that bad stuff, or it's not a problem right now. Nothing in the world could make me happier than I am at this moment. Whose patronage was that? Indeed. Why, my sensei, of course, Madarame. Even after Mother's passing, Sensei never stopped advocating her work to the public. Ah. So in Yusuke's perfect world, his mother died, and then, well, just natural causes or something. Well, of... I guess that's just a part of his story that can't really be changed that much. Or, like, it seems like it only changes, like, the last two years or three years, right? It doesn't change anything further back than that. Maybe even just the last year of their, of people's lives. I mean, I guess that makes sense, because we know that Ryuji still got his leg broken. So, that is still fixed in stone. I guess that would mean that, if that theory is correct, Makoto's father only died within, like, the last year or so. Which, I mean, could also be true. Yeah. And then here, you've got um, Yusuke's mother still died. However, within the last year or so is when he found out about Madarame. So if we just change that small detail, then it fits into place. Okay. And everybody who... Well, I guess not everybody. I was going to say everybody who's changed spoke to Maruki, but that's not entirely true. I mean, they all spoke to him within the last year, but we know that other people within this world have also had things changed. So unless they all spoke to Maruki, that's not the uh, common factor. Anyway. Where are we? Yes. Not only that, he took me in and cared for me when I lost my only family. I truly cannot thank him enough. Yusuke is so happy. Seems this reality is the one that Yusuke wished for. Ah, oh, I just had a wonderful idea. Why don't you come join us for dinner? Sensei's been very interested in meeting you. Don't worry, he'll even pay for the meal. Is Madarame a good sensei? Yes. Yes, I'd say so, but what's this about so out of the blue? Hmm. That Sayori looks great there. The Sayuri. That's not the painting's name. Oh. No, wait. That seems something's not right. Hmm. I'll be waiting for you. I. Oh, right. Yes, because Madarame called it Sayuri. But that's not what it was originally. Like, that wasn't potentially what his mother called it, if I remember right. It, it was a long time ago in the game. What is... Could I be making the same mistakes as I did before? To think that this painting was the source of Madarame's distorted desires. I mean, the painting might not be bigger. I'm looking at it here on him. I mean, what does it go? It goes, like, shoulders to waist on him? We'll check it when it goes back. The only saving grace is that my mother won't know of what transpired. <laughs> Oh, it's definitely a little bit bigger. Okay. I'll pack Sai. Yeah, yeah, that, that's, that, that's, that's a lot bigger. My apologies. Actually, I'm sorry, but I'd like to be alone for now. Hmm. Seems all I can do now is wait. So it was the ninth that we're meeting back up, I believe, with uh, Maruki. I take a vacation every year. My family goes with me, of course. Go back home? So you have to fulfill all your dreams? School is really fun. I've made some friends, too. Didn't a store grow out of business? Uh, I guess not. We don't have great sales, but it's fine for me. Yusuke seems really happy about his mother's work, Sayuri being recognized as a work of art. 
Is this truly how things should be? I should check up on the other members tomorrow. Okay. Well, we know the last one's in Kichi Joji, and we know the way to get there, so... Let's go. Uh, there has to be someone I haven't checked up on yet. Yeah, it's Haru. And all of Kichi Joji, but you know, Haru. Uh, you got anything new? Hey, you have a minute? Futaba? She's out shopping with the chief in Wakaba. I think they said something about hunting for games over in Akihabara. They look like such a happy family. Hey, Alpax, have I always... Never mind, forget I said anything. You're going out to see the others, right? Stay safe. Oh, okay, so these that has changed. Interesting. So that's why Akihabara exists, is because that's where Futaba is, and that's the member I forgot because you can't switch to her in combat. Uh, to be fair though, that would fit the number of days correctly, which, you know, makes an awful lot of sense when you think about it. Uh, I don't know if there's a better way to go, but I'm going to go up to that place we went to before. So, is it this one? And then this way? Oh, there's Madarame. Mm -hmm. Amazing work once again, Madarame-sensei. Another completely packed exhibit. We'd love, for, uh, we'd love to work with you once again on your next exhibit. I would never have been able to put together such an amazing exhibit... Uh, all on my own. Everything was made possible thanks to the hard work of all the staff and my apprentices. But on the subject of the next exhibit, I was actually hoping to display some of my appr apprentices' work instead of my own. Your apprentice? Are you perhaps talking about the high schooler who was here the other day? Correct. Yusuke is the son of one of my apprentices. Uh, he inherited quite a bit of natural talent from his mother. As she is sadly no longer with us, I bear the responsibility to spread that boy's talent to the world. In that case, I'll talk to the higher-ups immediately. Oh, and perhaps we could do something to commemorate it, such as a collaborative piece by the master and his apprentice? A collaboration with Yusuke? Ha ha ha. Yes, I think that's quite a nice idea. Now, I can't wait for this exhibition to come. Okay. Interesting. So I wonder if there are any more things that have appeared. Right, let's head up here to Kichi Joji first. We're going to deliberately try to avoid Haru if we can. Not because we don't want to speak to her, but because, well, you know, we want to explore the whole place. You got anything new? This is no time for detours. <sighs> yeah, of course. That's, ha that's Haru along there. That guy isn't there. Nothing along this way. We're going to take the long way around. Just so we can go everywhere. Oh, you got any katsu curry? But this this is the perfect reality. Surely you should just have some. Oh, well. Whatever. Uh, nothing along there. Okay. Hmm? Hello. Usually, isn't it the guy sitting on the bench? Anyway, it doesn't matter. So, what did you do over the holidays? Nothing much happens for a single man like me, but never mind that. What about you? Uh, we welcome the new year with the family. We haven't done that since, well, I don't know how long. It felt like a dream. Okay. Well, there's mm -hmm. Haru. Oh, we have to go the long way around, because the other one wasn't Haru. It was just crowds. So I assume the crowds meant Haru. Oh, it's funneling you. Is this the place, the one of the charismatic uh, perfumer we read about in the magazine? Oh, yeah, they got all these famous models and actresses using their products. The store's manager, supposedly a mysterious guy too, everyone's talking. I hope we can shake hands with them when I make my purchase. The line seems to be for the incense shop, I don't think I can go any further. Ah, okay, so it's funneling you to Haru. I see. What if I just avoid her? Nope. Oh. The amount of pedestrian traffic here is well within our threshold. This would make a fine location for a new store. Yes! I agree. The research says this community is most interested in high quality ingredients and a modern store design. Perhaps this location should focus on more organic produce and a simple but elegant interior. My! Oh, Alpax Kun, I didn't expect to run into you here. What are you two up to? I'm helping out my father today. 
We're here to inspect a potential site for a new company store. Is this a friend of yours? Yes, he's been a wonderful friend to me. He's an underclassman at my school. Oh ho! To think you'd have a male friend, Haru. Or are you truly just friends? Wait! Jeez, father! Don't jump to conclusions like that! Ha uh, ha uh, ha! Uh, calm down, Haru. I was merely teasing. But still, were such a man to appear in your life, make sure you tell me right away. Understood? <laughs> oh, father, is that jealousy I'm detecting? Haru and her father are enjoying each other's company. It seems this reality is the one Haru wished for. It's been quite some time since I last saw Haru like this. You must truly be a wonderful friend for her. Please keep being as good a f to her as you have been. After all, my daughter's happiness is my own happiness. Father. Oh, would you care to do something together, alpex -kun? We have a bit of free time, so we could grab a coffee or something. How's business? I'm not so sure. I don't sure. know all the details. I'm just helping out my father. He's been busy, but the staff have really been holding up their own. And, um, uh, yeah. Have been, have been holding up their own end. They've been out scouting new business locations, too. All in all, I'd like to think that things are going quite well. Has your dream come true? My dream? Oh, no, I wouldn't call my life anything so drastic. After all, I've been so busy lately that I can barely handle what's on my plate, so... Um... Wait, I just... I know you'll get through this. Hmm. Uh, oh, okay. What happiness can be found through profit gained by crushing the hearts of others? Excuse what? me? What? Not just now, that was... Haru, what's the matter? Uh, nothing, father. Nothing, really. You must be getting exhausted after all this surveying. Why don't we take a break somewhere? My apologies for cutting this short. I do hope we'll have the chance to speak more in the future. Uh, yeah, you don't have much of a future, though. I'm sorry, sir. Until next time. Hmm. Seems all I can do now is wait. My little sister's been telling me to fix her PC. She's always been the bossy type. Study abroad? No thanks. I'm having a great time here. You work at a maid cafe? Wow, I'd never have guessed with you. Huh? Really? It's the best job I've ever had. Have the store attendants here always been so friendly? Hmm. Oh. Harris seemed happy being able to talk to her father without fear. But is this truly how things should be? I should check upon the other members tomorrow. Yeah, I should check upon the other members tomorrow. That sounds like a plan. I should go to Akihabara and speak to Futaba. I should definitely do that. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. There isn't anything that I'm going to do before I do that, is there? Oh, wait, no, there is. Hello. Hey. Are you looking you for someone? Yeah, yeah, I know. Alpex, I think something's wrong with me. Or maybe not. I don't know. Sorry, I didn't mean to hold you up. Don't mind me. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm of course going to Shibuya. What I don't get is why it makes you go here every time. I guess it's so that you have to walk through it and see some people and realize, oh, there's new dialogue. Oh, Shibuya's different than it used to be. That sort of thing. Hmm. Uh, that's the wrong way. It is a Sunday. We could go have a smoothie. Except that we can't, because now's not the time for shopping. Now's no time for shopping. Yeah. Of course. Right. Up here. Mm -hmm. Cut across. Up here. I'm still going the right way. Even if it told me I wasn't. Through here. I would like to go back to Kichi Joji. Which you'd also tell us whether there's something new. Because it'll tell us, it'll show us um, President Okuma or something around the corner. 
uh, if there was new stuff in the, every area. But we'll see. Like, after you've done the one thing. Hello. Hey, is it just me? Or have we been hearing less bad news since the start of the new year? No, you're right. I was just thinking the same thing. Maybe the gods heard our prayers for a better new year. Huh, I guess so. You might be onto something there. All I want is for our families to be safe and sound. Not me. All I want is money. Alright. Well, you know, they're honest. Let's see. So this is the same on this side as well. Oh, there is something else around there though, which is interesting. Hmm. These all appear to be exactly the same. Yeah, exactly the same. Yeah, this this area doesn't look too different. Uh, this is the guy. Yeah, this is the guy I was looking for. I trust you know what sticky rice dumplings are. Uh, for this request, I want you to find a limited item called special chimaki. Uh, these chimaki are wrapped in wild rice leaves instead of bamboo leaves, making the taste more authentic. I'm counting on you. I already prepared a strength belt to trade you. I'm looking forward to it, my man. Okay. However, just on the other side, it's not the time to be shopping. So, um, still can't fast travel, huh? Ooh, that was a bit weird. Yeah, it does feel a bit odd, that area, without having the, um, What's it called in it? Velvet Room. Right, so Akihabara. Oh, can I go back here? I assume it's just gonna kick me out. Yeah, okay. That's fine. And there's nowhere else I can go. No, everywhere else. Was that always called Mahama? Oh, right. It's right near Destiny Land. Okay, yes it was. Cool. I was just checking. And at the end there we have Futaba. And somebody with a hat on? Oh, that must be Sojuro. Oh man. He's not quite as, um, yeah, he's wearing a different color palette than usual. Whoa there, Futaba. I thought you just came here to buy a video game. But, but. Can't you feel it? All the limited editions in the gaming gear. It's the store's fault for being a one-stop sh uh, shopping emporium for gamers. So, mom? No, ma'am. Do you think I get supplemental grants with nothing but puppy dog eyes? Motion for additional funding denied. <laughs> Ugh, my case was dismissed. Hmm, Alpex. Hmm? Oh, hey, look who stumbled onto us. Come on, hurry up and pick something already. You still want to get lunch after this, right? We can take him too, now. Oh, what a thoughtful gentleman. Hear that, Futaba? Sojuro is going to treat us all to lunch. Hey, don't go putting words in my... Oh, I just realized something. If we're, if we're going by the only things within the last year changed, right? That would explain, or within like the last set time period, maybe since we arrived in April or something like that, maybe that explains why uh, we're still here with Sojuro. Because the bad thing that happened to us still happened, right? Um, it's just since we have arrived here that things have changed, if that makes sense, at least in the timeline. So, if we were to be in the same situation we had to convince ourselves, we would bring up the incident with, uh, with Shido. We would say, so how did you get here? Why are you staying with Sojuro? And we'd go, oh, because it... We'd come up for a reason and we'd go, wait, that's not right. And then we'd have our flashback. Okay, it's all making sense now. Anyway. Hey, don't go putting words in my... Really? Then back to LeBlanc. People, it's curry time. Oh, you eat that all the time, though. That's because it's the best. You really can't get enough of that curry, can you, Futaba? I mean, she does have a point. Huh. Uh, thanks for the glowing review. The three of them are all smiling at each other. It seems this reality is the one that Futaba wished for. Sounds good, Alpex. I know you know how awesome Sojuro's curry is. Hmm. It's his most cherished dish. Of course, Sojuro and Mom worked on it together to improve its flavor, you know. Mm. And, huh? 
Isn't this like a beautiful dream? What's that supposed to mean? What are you getting at? Is it a dream? No, but... Hmm. I'll be waiting for you. Huh? I still don't get it. Come on. Why won't you just tell me? I won't let these distorted lies deceive me anymore. <sighs> what was that? Oh, are you alright? You two are getting a bit weird. Could this be a case of raging hormones? Look how serious they've both gotten. I'm okay! Um, it's nothing. Uh, let's go, Mom. The curry can't wait. We're, we're, we're just teammates. Alpax has got stuff to do, I assume. Well, see ya. Huh? Hey, Futaba, don't just take off like that. Oh, time to head. Uh, well, we're gonna head on back. Uh, come by for some grub when you're done with, well, whatever you're doing. Hmm. Yeah, it seems all I can do now is wait. I guess I should head home. Uh-huh. I've uncovered a few things in my investigation this week. Good. So I thought I'd share my findings with you. Hmm. Well, by all means. First, regarding Maruki himself. He's been researching the treatment of patients through changes in their cognitions since his college years. Tell us something we don't know? You already knew about that, correct? Yes. Can't see the wind out of my sails a little bit. He told me himself. Maruki's work apparently had enough investors that he was planning to break ground on a research facility somewhere. And as you know, those plans never came to fruition. His funding was cut off, and his research was ended for him. Hmm. Did something happen? It's probable. However, we can't be certain of the reason why. At least with our current understanding. See, I would have assumed the reason his research was cut off was something to do with Wakaba. But maybe I'm wrong. Also, I like how our uh, decorations are the same ones. I don't, I don't know why that's the case, but they are the same ones above our desk. Hmm, interesting. What was the purpose of his research into cognitive science? Doesn't it feel like there's more to the story? It was something to do with his uh, girlfriend at the time, right? Yeah, so maybe he's trying to create a reality where he's still going out with her? I don't know, but he seemed happy for her when we were speaking to him in the real world. But maybe that's just part of the distorted desire. For example, maybe his research was stymied by someone else for their own reasons. Anyway, that's all I could dig up about Maruki's history. The only thing that's become clearer is his stance on using cognitive science. He's dead serious about saving people. He distorted reality itself to make his dream come true. I can only imagine how delighted he is right now. Ah, that reminds me. There was one more thing I wanted to tell you. Is it just me or did Akechi sound like he was admiring Ma Maruki a little bit? It sounded a little bit like he was going, you know, I can imagine how happy he is right now. Right, you know, it was a little bit more of a yeah, it, it was it was a little bit like yeah, that's he's done well. He's got he's put his plan into action. A little bit of respect. Just thought it was interesting. Maybe I'm reading too much into it. About the reality Maruki's put us in. It seems that Akumara and Wakaba are both considered alive by all accounts. Hmm. What do you mean? They aren't mere illusions or cognitive beings. They truly are alive and existing in this world. In fact, their deaths seem to have never taken place at all in this reality. Okay. What to Shido? Shido was the only one arrested on the crime of attempting to overthrow the government. It seems the Phantom Thieves were causing a stir in this society as well. But there's no record of your arrest now. Basically, in this reality, you and I haven't committed any crimes. I don't understand how Maruki was able to distort reality to such extremes. But at the very least, he was being honest when he told us that he'd make such revisions. 
and rather convenient ones. Hmm. Are you a fan so far? That's quite the funny joke. It makes me want to puke. Oh. Remaining in this Maruki revised reality means living under his thumb forever. And I refuse to live like that. I'll be the one to choose my path. Fair enough. That's how I've lived up to now. And it's going to continue from here till the end. But what about you? You saw them for yourself, didn't you? Your friends seem to have taken a liking to Maruki's version of reality. Don't tell me you've changed your mind after seeing them. Don't worry about it. I see. I pray your answer doesn't change when we face Maruki tomorrow. That takes care of the info I wanted to share. See you soon. Hmm. Well, see you tomorrow. Are you going somewhere tomorrow? Hmm. Um... I'm going with Akechi to the stadium. With Akechi? You guys are really hitting it off lately. Of course, that's not a bad thing. Hey, so about what you said before, you know, that stuff about my happiness? Sorry, it's nothing. Good night. Hmm, tomorrow we meet with Maruki. I should go to bed early tonight. Would you like to save? Of course I'd like to save. I always want to save. Under any circumstance, it really doesn't matter why, but I want to save. Anyway, with that, I'm going to end the episode there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.